What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name is Lloyd. So today we're going to talk about how to get out of a slump. Meaning you're going out, you're talking to girls. Let's say you go out on like a Friday or Saturday night. You go out to the bars and like every girl that you talk to doesn't want to talk to you. You get shut down by every single person. Sometimes you'll even walk out and you'll like smile at a girl who you wouldn't even find attractive normally. And even that girl's like... Pfft. You're smiling at me, bro? Like, what's going on with you? Like, this is called a slump, and it happens to everybody. Look, it happens to me, it happens to my students, it happens to clients, it happens to people, even celebrities who are at the top, you know? Sometimes these slumps can be very, very public. I mean, if we think to back in the day when Mel Gibson had his breakdown, Robert Downey Jr., these are all leading men in Hollywood who at one point in time was were like the kings of the entire realm. They were basically like the biggest celebrities. Every woman wanted to sleep with them, every guy wanted to be them, and then they all came crashing down where like no Nobody wanted to be them, nobody even wanted to be associated with them, no girl wanted to get with them, um, and they were in a slump and they had to bring themselves out of it. So if this is happening to you, where you are in a slump, where you feel like you can't get a girl to save your life, listen to this video because I'm going to tell you exactly how to get out of that slump, whether it's a short-term slump or a really long-term slump. Okay, so before I get into this, I'm going to tell you guys I have my schedule below, which is going to list all the dates that I'm doing live training at. I'm going to be in San Francisco January 3rd to the 5th, Toronto January 10th to the 12th, I'm going to be in Los Angeles at the end of January, and then I'm going to be in other parts as well in February and March too, like New York, Miami, and those areas. So if those areas are places that you are a part and you want to get coached by me in person, you want us to go out together, talk to girls, have me be your personal wingman, and send out send me a message down below. Fill out the form and we'll get back to you. Okay, cool. So, uh, a slump. Slumps happen to everyone, okay? They happen to the best of us, and they will happen to you a lot, especially when it comes to success with women. I mean, your progress when it comes to, like, being more attractive, being more desirable to women, it's like this, dude. It goes up and down. You know, women's emotions fluctuate. Your attractiveness to them fluctuates, too. The important thing is to not judge yourself too harshly once you're going through a slump. And the other thing too is you really, the main thing here is you don't want to fight it. One of the worst things that you can do when you're in a slump where nothing literally is going right for you, where you, literally any single move that you make, you feel like you're stepping over your own feet. You feel like you're making the wrong thing. You're saying the wrong thing. Everything you do is awkward or uncomfortable or girls always think you're a creep. Okay, the worst thing that you can do when you're down in this realm is to fight it. Pretend like you're not in a slump. Pretend like you don't, oh, I'm not like that. That's not me, okay? Acknowledge the fact that you're in a slump and shit sucks and that's okay. It happens to the best of us, okay? Let's say I go out on a Friday night or whatever night, doesn't really matter. I go out and every girl that I talk to doesn't want to talk to me. I feel like shit. Things aren't going really well. What do I do? Okay, I don't pretend, no, no, I'm not in a slump, this is stupid, and then I go up, walk up and talk to the, the prettiest girl I see, uh, and then I get shot down again, okay? This is what I'll actually do. I'll focus on the small wins to pick my energy back up. I might talk to a girl who I normally wouldn't think is that attractive. I might talk to a guy. I might talk to someone who I might consider beneath me or something like that, you know, not to be crass or anything, but like these things are realities when people are walking out and people are judging each other. We're very judgmental when we go out. So be less judgmental and just talk to anyone who's going to give you the time of day, okay? If, I, if that happens to me, I'll go and I'll talk to somebody who will give me some attention, who will give me some good positive energy, and I don't care who it's from. Dude, I'll talk to a homeless guy if he's cool, man. It doesn't really matter to me. But what does matter is my emotional state, my energy, the vibe that I'm getting from other people. And if I'm getting nothing but negative vibes, man, I'm gonna bond with one, someone who is gonna give me a positive vibe so I can pick myself back up. I'm not trying to pretend like I'm this high fluting king of the world, which, you know, if you're in the flow state, which can sometimes happen, you can feel like you're there. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to acknowledge the fact that this shit's not working out and that I will have to take some other steps to be able to pick myself back up. So I'll talk to anyone who's, who's willing to give me that time of day. So once I'm talking to them, I pick my energy up, I converse, I you know ask them about themselves, help myself feel better. And once I'm in the right mental state, then I'll go back out there. But I won't go back out there super hard. I'm going to go back out there, kind of ease into it, you know, pick some more people who I feel like are going to give me better reactions. 
this is going to help you a lot when you go out because if you always are constantly judging yourself and trying to put yourself into this like high lofty status or like put yourself on the pedestal too that's going to really affect your ability to connect with other people and it's going to like there's some nights where you're just going to be like you're going to feel like king of the world and there's other nights where you're going to feel like i am the worst person in the world like i'm a, such a loser nobody likes me blah blah blah, blah. All the, you're going to tell yourself all of these things but what you should be doing is you should be going to the things that you know are going to make yourself better. Stop trying to act like you're king of the world and just do the thing. Remember the fundamentals. Remember the basics. We're all cut from the same cloth. There's no secret shortcuts to these types of things. Okay? So that's if it's in the short term. If it's in the short term, like go out, things aren't working out, find someone who's going to help you bring your energy back up. Focus on the little things. Focus on the fundamentals. And then slowly, incrementally, you're going to pick your energy back up and you're going to feel good again. Okay? You're going to get yourself out of that slump. If it's a long-term slump, again, the main principle is not to fight it. You know, Patrice O'Neill once said that if you're on stage and you're bombing, the worst thing that you can do is to try and not bomb. Try and win back the crowd. You try and make up for it. You do this with women too. You fuck up and then you try and think, okay, well, if I make it up by doing this, and sometimes a little bit of that is, is, is okay, but if you think, oh, now I have to act differently, a lot of times that tends to push the girl away even more. What you should do is get back to your roots, get back to your fundamentals and the way you were before. Do the things that you were doing to make yourself the man you were. If you were at a certain level, like you know, you were doing really well with women, maybe career-wise as well too, what things were you doing before then to work your way back up? You probably just didn't think, oh, I'm gonna be awesome now, and then you were awesome. No, it probably took some work. It probably took a little bit of you doing the fundamentals that I talk about. It probably took you walking up to a bunch of different women and maybe a lot of them didn't like you and that's okay, you were okay with it. But now you're judging yourself because, you can't, you, you, because you're not at this like high lofty pedestal that you put yourself on top of. So take yourself off that pedestal, do the fundamental things that brought you to where you are. You know what I talk about on this channel when it comes to getting women, the fundamental things are getting yourself into that flow state, talking to anyone, using the five questions, being able to connect with her, using passion, leading, all of those different things together make you have the results that you have. And sometimes when you're doing them and things are great, you start, you, you start to forget what got you there in the first place. So remind yourself of those things, get back to it, and I guarantee you, your slump is gonna be over in no time at all. So thanks for watching, you guys. If you made it to the end, consider subscribing. I'm looking for more people in my group and one-on-one -on -one coaching program, so if you want, fill out the form down below. Um, and if you feel like you're a good fit, We'll get back to you. Again, check out my live training schedule down below if you want to be, uh, if you want me to be your personal wingman. Would love to see you guys. But thanks a lot and good luck out there.